What's up, Anamangians? Today we're going to be reacting to a brand new trailer for On the Basis of Sex. Uh, this movie is starring Felicity Jones, who you may recognize from a little movie called Star Wars Rogue One. Uh, I haven't seen her in anything but that, but she gave a pretty good performance there. The movie itself, you know, I have my opinions about, but her performance as a whole was pretty good. So I'm really interested to see uh, how she portrays this character. Uh, she's playing Ruth Bader, uh, who is the Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. Uh, I don't know anything about Ruth Bader, and, and, and I'm sorry to say that. Uh, except that apparently she is an important figure in our history, of, an, an important female figure. And that's the most important thing here. I believe that it's really important, first of all, to make it known that there were people who made a difference other than like the names that you just know. To have stories like this about people that you don't know anything about is important. But also we need to do it for women and other minorities as well. There are plenty of people out there who have made a difference, who have been forgotten, kind of left in the past. I believe Ruth Bader is still alive, so it's great that she's able to see her story told here, but I just wish that more movies like this were made for more people who may, in a sense, have made a smaller in, in, impact, but in, in actuality, their impact changed uh, everything. And we need to make sure that we remember that and respect that. And movies like, like this shows that, that we're moving in the right direction. So I'm excited to watch this. I'm really excited to see how Felicity Jones portrays this, this woman, Ruth Bader. And hopefully it teaches me a little bit about her because I'm at a loss here. Um, but before we get into this trailer reaction, if you have not done so already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek, right here at Anamanji. Let's go ahead and check this trailer out. I feel the fire begin to rise. There are 178 laws that differentiate on the basis of sex. Women can't work overtime. We have to get credit cards in our husband's name. We're not allowed to work in the mind. Mind. Something so, This is amazing. You think you can change the country? You should look to her generation. They're taking to the streets. Protests are important, but changing the culture means nothing if the law doesn't change. Who did you say your name was? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I want to be a lawyer. I want to represent clients in pursuit of justice. So they're going to give you a corner office? I wasn't what they were looking for. One said women are too emotional to be lawyers. Another told me a woman graduating top of her class must be a real ball buster. I worked hard. I did everything I was supposed to, and I excelled. Martin Ginsburg will be signing all of our checks someday. <laughs> You're a smart girl, Ruthie. You married a star. If the law differentiates on the basis of sex, then how will women and men ever become equals? I don't read tax court cases. Read this one. The law assumes a caregiver has to be a woman. This is sex-based discrimination against a man. Poor guy. We need to take this case. This is not a case. This is a declaration of war. They could topple the whole damn system of discrimination. You cannot they think gender equality is a civil right. What's at stake is the American family. Let's put this idea to bed once and for all. You will lose. And when you do, you will set the woman's movement back 10 years. You don't get to tell me when to quit. I know this case disrupted our lives. Who's it for if not for me? You cannot leave. been ready for this your whole life. So go in there and let the judges see the Ruth Ginsburg I know. We're not asking you to change the country. That's already happened without any court's permission. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom. Your Honor. Yeah, 
just, I mean, exactly what I thought, telling a story about someone who honestly really should be uh, brought to people's attention. She made a difference here. Um, clearly, I need to look up some more information on her, exactly what kind of an impact she, she made. But I like, you know, how one of the scenes said that you know, all of this stuff that you're doing doesn't matter unless the law changes. So that was a that was a pretty powerful scene to me, and I feel like that is like I I just like that that a lot. Felicity Jones doing a phenomenal job here. While I'm not familiar with the character that she's portraying or the person that she's portraying, uh, I do think that she is very believable here. She's very genuine. It seems like she's she's staying true to who the person is, and that is the most important thing. Now, there are some people out there who might be like, well, this is just more feminine, feministic propaganda and whatever like, like that. Say what you want about the feminist movement. One thing that it has done is that it's brought a lot of stories that we otherwise would have never heard to the, to the forefront. And it's giving a lot of people more opportunities to show us things and to and 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 to educate us on a on a lot of things that I feel like we need to be educated on, things that we need to know, people that we need to know exist, and and what they did for us moving forward. Uh, the things that people did for women in the past don't just affect women. Those laws, those rules, those changes affect everyone. So I do believe that that's something that really definitely needs to be uh, um, done more often. And of course, we're getting an influx of that now, which is not a bad thing. So, I mean, I'm all for this. I can't wait to, to see it. Um, what did you guys think of the trailer? Are you feeling the Felicity Jones performance here? And are you familiar with the with this this person Ruth Bader, uh, if you know a lot about her, let let me know, uh, educate me because I'm definitely in interested. Do you plan on going to see the movie? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. And don't forget that I have a Twitter page at Anamanji. I do post some movie news related things there. Uh, I don't post all the time and not all of my posts are very interesting, but feel free to go ahead and follow me because, well, why not? We can talk about movies or whatever else you want to bring to my attention. I'm there, I'm available, and I'll respond to you. Uh, but that's all. Until next time, stay dope.